Hey, what's up? I'm Kwame Alexander. And I wrote a book about a boy who has a crush on a girl. He's liked this girl ever since they were little. And he's got a cousin who's a bully who likes the same girl. Amma jumps into my cousin's face and calls him the meanest thing she can think of. Abwa! Which really is not that bad because my cousin probably believes he is an animal. Always roaring and wreaking havoc on me, he lifts her off the ground as she screams trying to break free. And then he kisses her. He kisses Amma. You know you like that little house girl, he says, dropping her back to the ground. My cousin does not walk around so much as March, thinks he is a soldier, is stronger and taller than me by two coconuts, which I have seen him nearly split open with his hard head and then offer it to whichever girl he is fond of at the time. He outran me last spring from the river's edge to the village and is so big and so tough he is allowed to chop timber with the big men, but none of that matters right now because Amma has been disrespected. Her honor plunged into damp red clay, and I think I understand what Shakespeare meant when he said, love never did run smooth. Forget peace, this means war. I run into my cousin head first with the force of a million thunderstorms and knock him down. The thud of his back slapping the wet ground delights me, tightens my will, brings a loud silence and sends the heads of each of our mates jerking back in disbelief. This had been my strategy in the few moments that my heart grabbed all common sense and held it hostage. Catch him off guard. Attack like a wildcat. Injure him just enough so he could not retaliate. Do any more damage to her, to me. What had not been my plan was my cousin lying there, dead. <coughs> <coughs> and then coughing, and then laughing his way back to life, and then jumping up and wiping the mud from his back and wagging his finger at me and chanting the war song we all knew and shouted back, oh say ye, oh say ye, oh say ye, oh say ye. And when the singing stopped, the silence erupted. My cousin was born one week before me has won every contest between us. And even though we both know our mothers will kill us for behaving like savages, my cousin wants blood, mine. With arms flailing like wings on a vulture, he dances around me like the warriors we will soon both become. And then he pounces, his fist slamming into my jaw and his arms somehow managing to lock my head before it hits the ground. Me on my knees in his clutch each Breath getting shorter than the one before him. Before you die, remember this. I remember the wind whistling and a cloud of blackbirds circling above. I remember him turning my neck to face Amma. I remember him whispering, she will be mine. I remember I want to tell my best friend Abo later that dying feels worse than I ever imagined. And then I remember my arms and his arms tightening around my neck. And right before my eyes close, I remember the sun melting into nothing, the pouring rain, and the voice of our teacher, Mr. Philip, scattering everyone and saving me from certain death. I wrote a book about a boy who has a crush on a girl, and he's got a cousin who's a bully who likes the same girl. And his cousin beats him at everything, at racing and wrestling, but there's one thing he's good at. He's a good swimmer. And he challenges his cousin to a swim off. And he figures if he beats him, he'll win his pride back. He'll win the heart of a girl. And, and he practices every day in the river. And the night before the big swim off, he goes to the river one more time to practice, even though he's been told to stay out of the water at night because the river is cursed. And he goes to the river. And what happens changes history, changes his life. What happens brings him face to face with the door of no return. Thank you.